Louisiana Beer Reviews. This is a solo review of Cerveza Dos Equis Mexican Pale Ale with citrus hops and a hint of heat. 5.5% alcohol, 30 international bitterness units, 175 calories, so a little bit on the heavy side. Brewed and bottled by Cerveza Ria Huatamac Montezuma. It's about 45 degrees out here, so it's cold. Doesn't feel bad with the bright sunshine and the wind has gone away here at 8.15 a.m. Anyway, uh, they said on the website the ingredients are barley, malt, well, of course, water, barley malt, corn, starch, uh, um, two types of hops. They, they listed Syrian, but did they mean Styrian? But they had it very clearly written, Syrian. Um, can't remember the other hop. I thought I would remember it. Citrus hops. A pinch of fire ant tears for a kick, a spicy kick. They didn't list the fire ant tears on there, but they're saying habanero. They said habanero pepper extract. Ale with natural flavor. There's your disclosure. Um, I put the ingredients list in the description, which will be below. This was introduced in 2019. You can buy 12 packs of it and six packs, but I haven't seen that around here. I've just seen it in the variety, the Cervezas de Mexico variety, Mexico variety pack, which was $13.49 at Walmart. And they say it's available on draft also. So bottles, cans, and draft. See if I can find a date, guys. Here we go. Right there. And it's not black ink, guys, on brown. I know one beer video review always complains that it's they put black ink on a brown bottle, which is very, he's right, though. It is very difficult to read it. But here we have yellow on brown. Some big long code, but it says Best Buy date July 20th of 2020. So it must be pretty fresh if the Best Buy date is July. Um, the company knows best, so we'll go with what they're saying. Beautiful. Little rat. <laughs> Beautiful pour. I mean, it looks pretty coming out the bottle. I don't know if they use any coloring to make it so copper. So it's not really a pale ale. It's more like a copper ale, right? Not much paleness to it. And I see a, an enormous amount of sediment floating in here. Ascending bubbles, but most of the carbonation went to the, the creamy head, which is good because it won't be in my stomach filling me up is already 175 calories and so I see pretty big white chunks and some specks all throughout and but some a good amount of ascending bubbles so it's a nice looking beer yeah the aroma um smells like smells like Fuller's London Pride in the nose <laughs> for some reason or I was gonna say bass but I think it's more like Fuller's London Pride Okay. Or am I thinking of Fuller's ESB? Hmm. Nice, fresh aroma. Good. Um, let's, let's see. I don't want to just say nice and fresh, but let's see if I can give some descriptors. Like a, a brown bread crust, barley malt, maybe a little bit of that Mexican corn starch, which to me is a lot nicer than the American corn syrup, brewer syrup. That's just the way I feel about it. Um, little sweetness. Maybe some fruity hop resin. Oh man, looks good, smells great. Let's go with the taste. And look at the price, $13.49 for 12 specialty beers. Um, I don't know if Tecate Light, Tecate Light is a specialty beer. Dos Equis is kind of like that, the Dos Equis. Equis Especial introduced in 1983. 
it's mild bread just bread like that lighter brown bread type thing nature's own or whatever 30 IBU doesn't seem so bitter though uh, yeah it's coming in it's coming in it's kicking in at the end of the sip still mild A touch of the spice oh, yeah I can feel that habanero extract kicking in now it all kind of is a delayed reaction with this beer. little papery note that you get sometimes with these Mesoamerican lagers. This is an ale, though. No? Got it with the lagers and getting it with the ale. Medium bodied and a crisp, a crisp finish. I think they do so many dynamite products. Heineken Mexico. Now it's called Heineken Mexico, but the FEMSA, F-E-M-S-A, the Watermark Moctezuma. All their beers, well, most of their beers are really dynamite. Um, I thought the Dos Equis Roja was great. The red one, you don't see that. The, um, the flavored one, the one with the, the agave was good. Of course, the Ambar is dynamite. There's many others they make in Mexico. We can't get them. Um, I'd like to try the Noche. Bueno Noche. Bueno Noche. Saw it one time, that box, that Christmas box. Saw it one time, and I said, oh, I'll just get it when I get back home to Walmart. Saw it at Walmart in Gonzales, Louisiana. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Never saw those 12 packs again. What a mistake. Um, <clears throat> they just keep putting out really dynamite products carta blanca's really good soul um i like the regular tecate i don't care for tecate light too much don't like the tecate titanium at all but i mean so i say most of the stuff they do is good so they have some duds to me but it's a solid company um would i score this oh, nice lacing too i got two more to drink out of this pack I might bring one on a wild card Wednesday or something like that. Maybe we'll think of a theme for March. Maybe beers with peppers in them. Yeah, that'd be a good theme. Beers with peppers added or some kind of peppery spice. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I'll say 93 out of 100 in A. I don't remember what we scored it in the duo review, but I think it was high. We liked it. so. But I only got to taste half a bottle now. I got the full bottle. So, an A, 93 out of 100. How would it pair? Now, they use, their website is fabulous because they have recipes you can make with this beer. I think, list them all. They got a whole section about their brewing process, going through the steps, and they might have videos about it. So, it's not some little junky website where they don't tell you anything. So, I have these um, Bonneballs Crackling, fried out pork fat skin attached, seasoned. Ingredients, pork fat, skin attached, salt, granulated garlic, paprika, spices, granulated onion, sugar, monosodium gluten, tomate, tricalcium phosphate to prevent cracking, uh, caking. <laughs> it's from uh, Gonzales, Louisiana. Inspected and passed by Department of Agriculture, Louisiana Department of Agriculture 44, Division 44. Okay. Talking about Gonzales. There's a lot of farms over there, Gonzales. Old Spanish area, Gonzales and Hidalgo. No. Gonzales, and then the next settlement is Galvez. That's right, Galvez. Named after the Spanish governor of Louisiana, Bernardo de Galvez. Bernardo de Galvez. I think it's, it was Bernardo, Bernardo de Gavez y Amazaga. Anyway, laissez-le bon temps relay. 
a most excellent product with a most excellent snack. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on down to Southeastern. Sunny today and dry, but 40 days a year we get that Southeastern Louisiana.